Hi, my name is Jerry Guionis. I'm a photographer based out of Melbourne, Australia and Los Angeles, California. And I just wanted to walk through with you uh, Animoto software and show you just how easy it is to create a really beautiful and simple slideshow that you can present to your clients. Uh, more than a slideshow or a video, uh, for me it's a marketing tool. So it's not so much even that this is just a slideshow that you can produce, but it's what it will do for you that I believe is the most important thing. But more about that later. So here we are on the Animoto website and I've logged in. I'm a pro member, which gives me access to all the pro photography styles. So you can see a few styles featured there as well. And uh, all these on the side here too. I actually co-designed uh, one of the styles uh, called Chic. And it's uh, it was basically modeled after a um, slideshow that I had uh, designed in a proper editing software. Now, of course, you can create slideshows that are very elaborate and you can put them on a timeline and uh, use a program like Final Cut Pro and all those kinds of things, but it just takes quite a long time to, to achieve it. Um, so what I did was I created this style called Chic, uh, and let me just sort of show you what this basically give you an idea. So at one point, every single image shows up full bleed and then it sort of just dissolves uh, into black and white and the image is repeated in the background. So what I suggest for this kind of slideshow is to be very, very simple. This will not work with a fast paced song. Uh, slow down the pace of the transitions, which I'll show you in a moment. But this is good for a highlights reel or a slideshow with less images. So anyway, so check out uh, Chic when you can. Um, I'm actually going to pro uh, produce a slideshow or a video here uh, using the documentary style. Documentary style is just the simplest slideshow they can possibly have produced. Uh, I'm not a big fan of uh, many transitions and making things look a bit busy. I want my photography to speak for itself. Uh, and therefore, documentary is a really good one to use. So as you can see here, it's as simple as that. You pick a style, you create it, and then you produce it. So I want to show you just how intuitive this program is. Um, I pretty much learnt this program um, without really any instruction uh, the first time I opened it up and it was just basic. So first what I'd like to do is actually uh, choose a song. Now I'm a, a big believer of uh, doing the right thing and buying the license to music um, or actually having the rights to the, to the music as well. So if you're a pro member of Animoto you get access to two to three thousand images depending on which kind of pro version you basically have or pro membership but uh, Triple Scoop Music are an amazing company that provide really cool music that uh, that again you can buy the royalty to and you can use for slideshows your own personal promotion and pretty much whatever you wish so I'm actually want to I want to produce now a slideshow um, with over well over a hundred images and um, I know that if I choose let's say a song only three or four minutes I don't really want them to... I don't want to have to pick another song. I want to be able to just pick one song that fits all the images to the length of the audio and we're basically done. So what I'm going to do here is um, click on this. Certainly I can choose some different songs here. Uh, I can play a preview of them, which is really cool. Um, or I can actually br browse the full library of music that is provided by Triple Scoop Music. So before I do that, well, instead of doing that, I'm going to upload a song of mine, and that is on my desktop already. So, it is called um, My Ibiza, it's an instrumental, and um, the artist is John Gentry Tennyson. So, if you like this music that I'm about to play, um, check that out. It is available in the actual, uh, um, in the library. So, I'm going to pick that one. So, as you can see, it's basically, the, you know, the program is uploading uh, the song to the website. So this is all done online, uh, which is great because you can save it, you can start it from another computer or device, um, and if you wish, you can once you produce it, you can download it as uh, an MP4 at your desired size, or you can simply have uh, your clients uh, go to a website where the slideshow is, or you can put it embed it wherever you want. It's really up to you. So um, the song title here. So let me just grab that information here. Um, Okay, so it is John Gentry Tennyson, 
and it is my and it is an instrumental let's save that okay so now we're ready to upload photos and videos and texts and things like that so just so you know the elements that I'm working with here so I've chosen the song uh, there are my images so what I've done is I've actually put them in order that I want them to appear okay so there's um, one two there's 146 images of course the numbers a little bit off because I've narrowed them down and I've taken a few out here and there but there's 146 images in the order that I want them to appear and what I've done is I've actually filmed um, some cool video um, in a cool little app on my iPhone that uh, makes it look like eight millimeters so you can see we have a little bit of fun with the bride um, and we're going to insert that into the video here's the bride as well and then we've got her in the doorway of the car which is really fun and then we've got uh, bagpipes and stuff like that which is really cool so we're going to put those videos in I also have a logo that I've already designed which is an animated logo now you can you won't be able to do that, this kind of logo with that kind of an effect within Animoto but it gives you a really cool and simple options to actually uh, animate your logo um, if you wish so I'll show you those options in a, in a moment but they're the elements that I have to deal with so I want to add some images so let's do that I am going to upload them now you're seeing a tutorial here in real time I'm not going to edit this video you are going to see how long it takes to upload images and uh, to just give you an idea of what you know what what it's going to take so let's do that slideshow now what I've done although you can certainly upload high-res images into this program there's no point because you know they're going to be encoded they're going to be put into video format that is going to be smaller than what you um, than what you probably have so what I've done is I've actually made these images to fit the canvas size of 1920 by 1080 in case I want to make this video at 1080p um, I'm going to choose 720p, which is pretty much a standard video that you can see on Facebook and on the internet and things like that. But these are the images that I'm choosing. So um, 1618 by 1080 for a horizontal. Verticals, of course, will be no taller than 1080. And that's exactly the size that I need at the absolute maximum. So I'm going to choose this. So as you can see now, um, these are all uploading individually. So they're going to upload... Um, right up into this point so while that's basically happening let's just check a few different settings so you can choose a certain thumbnail if you uh, don't you know like that first one as a default so I might choose something a little bit further in um, just to give me sort of an idea of what might be fun so let's just maybe keep on going and see if we can find one um, actually let's just wait the images to load before we keep on going with that let's title the video um, so the video okay the wedding of Erin and Jeremy producer is myself date optional you can uh, if you want to you can have a description in here um, and you know that might be for the information that's next to the video uh, if you were to send people online to see it for example so if you were to send them to an Animoto website um, with your video so you can include that if you wish I'm not going to worry about that for the moment you can have a call to action button so if you let's say for example if you're pointing people to your to this particular slideshow what you can do is say something like um, for more information about Jerry Guiones photography click here and then you can put your website and as uh, simple uh, let's say for example if this is a slideshow that you put on Facebook and you want to point them towards your online gallery you can simply put a link to there for more to see more images and to purchase prints uh, please visit here or click here and that can go straight to the website as well so it's really up to you guys if you if you want to do that um, let's see if everything's loaded okay let me just press save and I'll come back to that okay so I've saved that information so now we know it's the wedding of Erin and Jeremy 
the song is all there it's all cool let's just see how we're going with the images so just like that they're already uploaded so that's pretty cool um, you know like I said I've, I've uploaded 146 images uh, in there in real time as we've discussed those other options there okay so let's show you a couple of things here so when you place the settings area here um, I've got here the song it's 7 minutes and 56 seconds if I want to I can trim the song forward or back and that's when it'll stop and start so if you don't like the intro and outro of a song you can just pick what you want um, and that's basically it now here if you want you can actually manually pick the actual pace whether it's fast or slow and medium pace of the Im images and it will just blend it all in together if you want it slower if you want it faster fantastic for me I like to fit the actual images to the audio because the audio is specifically uh, chosen by myself to divide the images equally so they have equal representation I might want to highlight a few here and there which I'll discuss shortly but I'm going to click on here auto so images will be placed to fill your song so it'll stop and start exactly where where I want it to go so that's what we'll do so let's press save um, if you have a logo you can easily add it to the start and or end of of the show here so as you can see here you can um, you can start the logo you can actually add uh, intro or outro now I already have my outro logo I have the animated logo like I showed you before so this one if you remember okay so I can put that now I don't want to overdo it I don't want that be the, to be the first impression that people have of the slideshow the slideshow is all about the couple certainly I want my credit at the end so people remember that I'm the one that actually did it and um, that's really important um, so yeah that that would be really really cool but if you wanted to you can simply just place them there and that's basically it here's the other cool thing so when you place your logo here so you upload your logo um, you can choose a background so most logos are usually have a black or white background um, you can have different little transitions which are really cool so this gives you like a, a really affordable way of your logo looking really cool and expensive without having to pay what I had to pay when I got my logo designed and so on so I'm gonna leave this because I'm I'm very happy with this uh, that being said if I want to I might want to start with a little bit of black and maybe end up with a bit of black so that you know the slideshow doesn't start off too suddenly it doesn't end too suddenly so it's really up to you um, I can either do it this way by adding a logo of just a black image and choosing a black background so it's seamless or adding a black image into um, into those settings as well so it's really up to you guys as to how you like to do that um, I might just want to upload some more images so you sort of see how I've created a image called black let me just duplicate that so now I've got two images that I want to upload and I want to place them here as well so maybe let's do that let's add some images and let's choose those two black images as you can see there's nothing but black there so I now am going to um, simply just drag this image up and like I said that'll just give me a little bit of a uh, of a break of the images beforehand just to sort of get the the juices flowing there so to speak um, so people anticipate the slideshow rather than starting it too quickly all right let's keep on dragging that up in fact I should have done it the easier way um, if I simply click on this image and then <laughs> uh, click on the image and then add it it would have just been really close to this particular point so I've gone about it a little bit the longer way but no problem at all um, lesson learned for all of us okay so what I'm missing now are the video pieces and um, also my logo so let's do that and let me in fact we had an image okay so if I press on this image this would have been the quickest way to do it I'm gonna add a video now and that's this one so you can see how now it's actually adding that image exactly where I want it to go rather than going the long way like I did it before okay so there it is fantastic then there was one um, of her on the on the uh, the beautiful chair there so let's add that as well and that from memory 
Yep, that was that one. Perfect. Okay, that's done there. Um, then we had one of the bagpipes. So let's do that. I think that was the last one from memory. It was. Then we had one in the doorway. Let's do that. So as you can see, guys, it's really fun. You don't have to be a master editor to, to, um, to, to, to achieve this. The whole idea is this is not meant to be a Hollywood production. This is meant to be something simple and clean and beautiful that uh, showcases your work and markets your business and, uh, and provides some extra value to your clients. Or you, it just maybe something that you might want to do with your own photographs. Um, holiday photographs, whatever you basically want. So, all right, now let me add my logo here. Uh, in fact, before I do the logo, I actually want to add a text uh, box because my logo just says Jerry Gionis. I want to say photography by. So as soon as this image finishes, it'll blend into this saying photography by. So if you click on this settings area, um, uh, just to remind me what it is, um, you can actually have that uh, on a white background, black background, and so on. But I've actually defaulted to white text on a black background, so that works for me. And now I also want to um, add a my logo. Let's do that. So I have that logo, beautiful. Fantastic, so as you can see, the last image will blend into Photography By, which will blend into uh, Jerry Guionis' logo, and then it'll go to black a little bit before it finishes. So technically I should have some music here a little bit to finish off with, uh, which would be great. Now if you want to, of course, you can add some credits um, to the, uh, usually it's sort of customary um, to give respect to the um, uh, to the songwriter and the, and, the, and the music and all that kind of stuff. So uh, let's do that. So I'm going to press this um, and then add some text. Music by Triple Scoop Music. And then I can go back here. I've got the artist name. So and now we should be able to fit all the information that we need. Beautiful. So we give credit and respect to the music, which is fantastic. So let's do that. At any given point, you can preview the video, which is really cool. It just gives you sort of an idea of how it's working, how it's flowing, and so on. Now, another cool thing is the spotlight feature. Spotlight feature means that if you actually love an image and you want to feature it a little bit longer than the others, uh, you can do that. So I'm going to go through here and pick maybe... So this one I love, let's just spotlight that, beautiful. Uh, let's keep on going, I love this image, let's spotlight that one. Let's keep on going. Uh, I love that image too, She's uh, the bride's very emotional there, so I'm going to keep that one featured. Love this image. Beautiful. When you spotlight an image in this particular style, it slowly sort of fades in. Not overly dramatic or anything like that. It just gives you a really cool idea. Um, all right, let me keep on going. I love this image. Let me spotlight that one. And then I always pretty much spotlight that last one as well because it just builds anticipation that 
you know, the music's sort of slowly fading. That image is quite on the screen for quite a while. It just gives you an idea that that uh, there's a finale there, So, uh, which is really cool. So let's just look at it manually now. So it's going to start from black. It's going to just... Um, show us all the images, it'll show some video, it'll spotlight some images and feature them, and then it'll end off with that image, photography by, logo, triple scoop music, and then finish off with black. So now let's um, preview it. So let's see what happens. So what's happening now is the program is generating a low resolution preview. So what you'll be seeing on screen is not perfect. The quality is just uh, quite ordinary, but is it enough to just understand the way your slideshow is looking and feeling and so on? If I'm happy with this, I simply press produce. If I, if I feel like I want to tweak it, I simply press continue editing and, and we're totally done. So simple, simple, simple. So you see how the actual uh, photographs blend in seamlessly to the video, which is great. And the images there are not too, they don't stay up too long, they don't go too quick. They're just a nice dissolve in and out from black. It's simple, clean. My photography does the talking. This is not a, like I said, a Hollywood slideshow production. It's simple and beautiful. And uh, how easy was that? That was crazy. So um, I'm happy with that. Let's just go maybe towards the end and get an idea of, of what that last little bit would look like. So these shots were done at the end of the reception. So you see how that was spotlit. It's on the screen for a while. Blends into photography by. At the moment, everyone's cheering. Woohoo! Great slideshow. Oh my god. Woohoo! And triple scoop music. Fantastic bit of black and there's a hint of music there and we're done love that fantastic so um, we're ready to produce I should have just pressed the produce button but let's uh, let's do that I am going to produce it it comes to this particular area like I said if you want to um, this is the area um, that might describe something you might want to bring attention to the couple where the wedding was shot, you might want to add some information about the wedding planner or anything like that. It's, it's whatever you want, really. Um, I'm going to click on 720p, and this will be, like I said, a perfect size that is not too big, not too small, beautiful quality, great for Facebook, uh, and all that kind of thing. So just so like, to remind you, like I said, everything in this video, there's no editing in this tutorial. This is totally real time. So you will see um, how long it'll take to produce a video online. So we are at the mercy, of course, of what we're doing online, which is totally cool. And let's press finish. And, uh, and now it's doing what it's doing. So as you can see, um, everything's just being finished off right quite now. Once it's done, you can simply send a link from this, um, this particular URL to your clients then for them to view their video, which is great. Uh, if you want to, you can email um, this link, Facebook, uh, tweet it, all the obvious stuff. You can use the embed code to embed it on a blog or anything like that, and that's basically it. Um, what I'm going to do is, once this is done, I'm actually going to download it as an MP4. So I have it for safekeeping. Um, if uh, you know anything happens, or if I want to give this on a beautiful little USB drive, in a beautiful box as a presentation gift, I can do that. Uh, if I want it for myself on my hard drive, then I've got it for, for future uh, future settings and uh, future scenarios and things like that. So, so while we're waiting for this to, to finish, um, let's just discuss how you would use this uh, and how it'll actually work. Um, actually, look, how cool is that? It's, it's just being finalized now, so it's been really quick. Um, my strong encouragement to you is, um, always get the um, Twitter handles and Facebook um, friends and things like that of the bride and groom. So certainly you would have already befriended the bride and the groom on Facebook and Twitter and uh, Instagram and Periscope, any, any kind of social media that's relevant. Um, make sure that you add everyone of the bride and groom, 
um, the bridal party, of course, the best man, matron of honor, um, have everything organized. Even have a visual reference of what the what the bridesmaids look like and what their name is and, and, and who is who and so on. Then what happens is after the wedding, well, there's two things you can do. <laughs> so on the wedding day, what I do is I use these slideshows to create a same day slideshow for the wedding. So on the wedding day, I'll pick my favorites. So for example, these shots here, for example, would have been my favorites on this wedding day. Um, I just I did a blanket sort of a sepia tone as an action for all these images to make it look very classic and really, really beautiful and stylish. Upload, upload these to Animoto, create a slideshow, pretty much exactly what you're seeing right now. Then I, I download it as a, as a beautiful MP4 and I can play it as a slideshow uh, on the wedding day to my clients. And guys, I'm telling you, this is the best form of advertising you'll ever do for your company. A same day slideshow, I think uh, the Americans call it a same day edit. Uh, is incredible. Be ready to have tissues there to pass around for people crying over your beautiful work and the beautiful story that you've just told and also have business cards ready to give out. Now, on the night itself, you can give um, your clients an MP4 on a, uh, a little hard drive that's branded. Um, I use a company called Photo Flash Drives for this thing and uh, it's packaged beautifully as well so you can give that to your clients. So if I were you, if you, uh, day after the wedding, I want you to actually upload this to Facebook, do a little 15 second, a little teaser on Instagram if you wish, and um, and put it on Facebook, put a link on Twitter, um, make sure you tag everybody, and then say how beautiful was the wedding of Erin and Jeremy, here's the beautiful showcase that you witnessed on Saturday night. And I'm telling you now, certainly uh, within your post, you'll have links back to your website, maybe you might have a link back to your gallery, if you were prudent enough to have finished editing and uploading it and things like that. Um, but like I said, guys, think of this software not as just a slideshow software or a video software. This is a, a marketing tool. This is a way to get your name out there. Um, images look better with music. Great images look, look even better with great music. <laughs> and uh, everyone's happy. So in the time that I've been explaining to you how I use this software and, and what a great way of marketing it is, uh, it's done. Okay, so quite simply, I'm pressing play. Uh, how beautifully crisp are those images? So we're creating this beautiful 720p version, blending in seamlessly to the to the video. And the great thing about this style, it's not only simple and clean and it showcases your work, but it's full bleed, so you're not hiding any of the image. So and that's really cool. Like I said, I can link out to this if I want to. And how cool is that? So if I send people to this website, it already has, you know, very important information that you want. And this is a great form of marketing. So more information about Jerry Gunn's photography, click here. Fantastic. Goes to my website. Everyone's happy. Uh, this could be a great add-on, a bonus that you can give to your clients. So you might not even tell your clients that you're doing this. Um, and it's a bonus. Or it may be the very reason why they booked you. So, um, now like I said, you can link to this website, you can embed it, you can do what you want. I'm gonna download it. So, I've actually, I've already asked for 720p. So I can upgrade this for free because I'm a pro member to a 1080p, but I've already asked for 720, so it's already done. So all I gotta do is press on it and um, I'll be downloading that video. Okay, so as you can see here, it's downloading 230 meg. It's downloading right quite quickly. Beautiful, almost there. All right, almost there. And there it is, guys. Fantastic, 720p. I love the that black at the start of it for me is really really important because it doesn't start all of a sudden. Goes into the slideshow beautifully. Let's go all the way to the end to give you an idea of how it ends. Last image, I put a spotlight on that. It's featuring it beautifully. Zooms up slowly. Build, build anticipation. Everyone's crying, freaking out, cheering. The logo comes up. Oh my god, Jerry Gerrans did it. Woohoo! And then all of a sudden. We look at uh, the credits, adds a bit of cinematic sort of feel and flavor, and then it blends out to black and life is good. So um, just want to show you here.
there we go 230 meg 720 um, P and life is good so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed that um, like I said I just wanted to show you a, a quick and easy way of uh, building a beautiful video and slideshow for your clients and like I said more importantly uh, building a, a presence and a marketing tool that is amazing for your business that is quick and easy and efficient and you can do very very quickly um, if you want to know more about me uh, go visit www.jerryguionis.com love to get to know you guys better and hopefully we'll see you very soon all the best